For weeks, I've been telling you that XRP is getting ready to break out, and guess what? XRP broke out. Not only did it break out, but the continuation of this breakout still remains. And this is a level that we haven't seen in quite a few months. Uh, the last time we were at this level was July of 2023, when Judge Annalisa Torres ruled that XRP was not a security when being sold to individuals instead of institutions. So uh, we're going to check out the chart. If you like this type of content, make sure you hit the like button on the way in. If I sound a little bit weird today, my apologies. I had two wisdom teeth removed and ow. So uh, make sure you hit that like button on the way in. If you like me and you want to talk about it, uh, leave a comment down below and subscribe to the channel. If you don't like me and you just want to talk mad shit about me, make sure you subscribe so that you can get notified every day so that you can come here and remind me that that one stupid token that you bought the top on came down like everything else. Okay. You're such a winner. All right, guys. Okay, so uh, on the daily, this is a very simple breakout. And guys, I do want to say, not only did we have the breakout, but we had the back test, a successful back test on the, the second day that was on November 13. And now we've got a certified breakout. The next step is how far up are we going to go? And the next point of uh, importance right here is going to be about 94 cents. But when we start to zoom out and we start to look at our range right here, the breakout is above 61 cents. So we have broken out to a substantial sort of level. And what I'm showing you right now, I wanna be clear with this. What I'm showing you right now is seven years worth of consolidation. What do you think is going to happen next? Now, if we were to just simplify the code, if you will, and say, well, what do we think is gonna happen next? This move here from the bottom to the top, that's what we're talking about, right? We're talking about this move uh, from all the way down here to this move up here. And if we play that out over here, then we're talking about a $500 XRP. Is that realistic? Now, listen, I want to say this. I don't know that that's realistic. The market cap right now doesn't support something like that, okay? That doesn't mean that it won't happen, though. It just means that it doesn't support it right now. The, the important part is um, I gave you a prediction a long time ago. I'm going to stick with it that $27 right around here is going to be the range uh, that ultimately we're going to pop right into. So uh, the question right now is how far will this breakout go? Well, as you can see right here, we haven't stopped from our impulse move yet. So what it would look like in the event that this impulse move is breaking us out here is, uh, you know, a, a retest back down here at 67, 68 cents, which will correspond with the top over here and would be another significant back test. Right now, probably be about the time for that in the event that that's successful. Expect to move back up here to 90 cents to blast through that resistance. And then we're looking at that golden ratio. Golden ratio right now sitting at... $1.53. That's where I think that we're going to see substantial resistance and a substantial fight in the event that that comes to pass. Now, when you start to zoom out here and you start to look at the volume of trading, then it would make sense because if you come up here, that's going to be this little range right here at or near that local top. That's where we did quite a bit of trading. So I, I think $1.50 uh, would make sense as the spot where we get into the biggest fight for the next big impulse move. Uh, of course, moving past a dollar is also going to be a struggle, but I think that's um, you know that's going to be a breakout. Now, in the event that we have a just an absolutely perfect um, bull market, golden bull breakout, then we're talking about $2.71 as a start. Now, if we just took the idea and the principle here that we're going to get a continuation over the next couple of days of the current move that's breaking out right now, what does that look like? Well, that goes right up to $1.51. And if that continues, then guess what? Boom, there it is. So there are some opportunities for a big breakout. I would expect that over the next couple of days, we're going to start seeing some very interesting things develop. Now let's talk about some developing things here. We've got the creator of Cardano, uh, which is Charles Hoskinson, you know him, uh, is now trying to team up with HBAR. After talking to XRP, the Titans are coming together. That's an important thing. Now, what does that mean more broadly? Well, it means an easier road to mass adoption, which is going to be a fantastic move here if it plays out. We don't know what the terms or the agreements would be if, in fact, Cardano and XRP were to work together in some fashion. But we do know that it probably would benefit both of these cryptos enormously. Now, so there are some things where we could start to break down what does Cardano do 
a little bit better than XRP. How does that look more broadly? And then the same thing with Hedera. Um, and, and then maybe we could be looking at another, because I tell you guys all the time, M&A, mergers and acquisitions, are the next big thing in crypto. And we really haven't seen very much of that yet. Fetch is about the only one that we've really seen. Robinhood did buy, I think it was Bitstamp or, or something the other, or BitGet. But uh, we're going to start to see a lot more mergers and acquisitions, and this is a good start for it because this will be a consolidation of three major, major blockchains into one gigantic thing if something like that were to happen. Now, I don't know that it were, would happen, but the big one on the block here is XRP. So, you know, the question is, um, is there some opportunity? And if not for a merger and acquisition, uh, for at least an opportunity for them to work together in some kind of fashion to make mass adoption a little bit more comfortable and easy for all of us. Also, uh, Brad Garlinghouse has just taken to X to comment on Bitwise recent ETF filing that includes exposure to the XRP, Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Solana. It's the alphabet soup I see. Now, uh, what does that mean? That means that Bitwise has now uh, filed for an XRP ETF. And you want to know why this matters? Boom, baby. Not only did we get the note from Gary Gensler that he's probably resigning over the next couple of months, but that 18 U.S. states have now filed a lawsuit against SEC and Gary Gensler. And guess what? You know, here's the thing. Is what Gary Gensler is doing right now criminal? I mean, Joe Biden's not going to do anything about it. We know that. But what about Donald Trump? That's why Gary Gensler is looking to get himself out right now. Uh, he wants to get as far away from this disaster that he's created as possible. Right now, he currently sits on top of an SEC that is desperately attacking cryptocurrency, losing battles, by the way. Uh, and remember, the, the, the one battle that they really, really won, the one battle that they really, really won was against... Terraform Labs, the creator of Terra and Luna, and guess what? It was for $4.7 billion. Uh, Terraform Labs doesn't have $4.7 billion. Uh, that was just a, a, a facade. They did not collect that much money. Uh, Terraform Labs ended up filing bankruptcy, and they're going to get a portion of of that back, not $4 billion. But what they wanted to do, Gary Gensler was attempting to leverage the Terraform Labs lawsuit in order to attack XRP. Uh, it was bullshit. You guys know it. You guys, look, we see this every day, right? Um, and what they were trying to do is leverage a position with Terraform Labs into, hey, this is the type of penalty that we would be looking for from XRP. There's no disgorgement from XRP. There is no disgorgement from XRP. XRP is trading higher than the pre-sale prices to begin with. So um, Gary Gensler is out of his damn mind, okay? So uh, the protections that he's trying to put in place, the only people that he's trying to protect are banks, the only people that he's looking to take it, take um, to, to to make sure they have a level playing field are bankers and industrial people who are institutional people who are trying to ape into positions and get prices dumped on. Um, and, and you can you can try to convince me otherwise, but we all see it, right? We all see it. So, uh, guys. This is the end of Gary Gensler. This is the rise of XRP. You guys are going to be on for a fantastic journey at a minimum. At a minimum, if I was right to begin with, you're going up 54x to $27. Um, and that's from 50 cents where I gave you the call. Uh, if not, you could be going up 500. That's over 1,000x from where we were uh, back then. So um, there, there is a, a huge opportunity here. And uh, guys, I, I don't know what to say other than uh, get ready because... XRP mass adoption. It's all coming true. It's all happening. And uh, yeah, get excited. This is not financial advice, but I'm always right. Donald Trump has won the 2024 election and will be your president. The first pro-crypto president. Bitcoin currently trading at around $87,000. This is the ideal moment for effective management of your own investment portfolio. Since 2019, Cryptonomy has experienced exponential and substantial growth with revenue closing near 2.4 billion euros and insurance coverage of up to 6.1 billion on all company assets. Now listen guys, the big move here for me in my fixed staking pool, I'm going to go all in on a little bit more XRP. I've got 5,900 XRP right now. I'm going to go into the nine month for 71% return. We're going to continue. We stayed close to 6,000 XRP just now with a 71.8% return over nine months. This launch pool is blowing up. As you can see right here, open serve just went 7x. I'm getting a significant yield off of that. We got 1.9 on Satoshi Dex. We had a 2.58 on Tap Protocol, 2.1 on Talent, 3.1 on Cross. 
All right, guys, we're going 10 Ethereum into a bronze tier contract end date, November 12, 2025. I expect to make a return of at least a decent amount, 50% profit sharing. When we got that last one, it was 7X. So I'm going to assume here that this is going to be a real good play. If you haven't already, don't forget myself, Dean DCA, Clay. Lift Capital, Aaron Burke, we're all doing articles uh, for this organization. So if you are interested in learning a little bit more about cryptocurrency, then this is the place to go. You want to go to cryptonomy.finance slash research. Also, if you haven't already, sign up for their Telegram. The links are in the descriptions down below. And in the next two weeks, there's going to be a couple of big updates brought to you by all of us regarding cryptonomy.finance. Start investing now.